This episode of Basque Tracks is sponsored by Motor City and Dialed Pest Control. In a world where pests reign terror, one company stands ready to defend your domain. Dramatic pause. Dialed Pest Control. The guardians of your sanctuary. Don't wait. Reclaim your home today. What are you doing? Your pest control commercial. Your peace of mind awaits. Who you are, what your story is. Yeah, I'm Stephen Gamboa. I'm a professor at Cal State University, Bakersfield. I teach philosophy mainly. I've been here for almost 20 years now. I'm of Basque descent myself. My father immigrated from the Basque country. I grew up in Southern California in the Chino area, but uh, when I got this job at Cal State Bakersfield and moved up here, I, of course, knew lots of folks in the Bakersfield Bass community and be started getting involved in the Bass Club here. On the Friday before the official beginning of the Bass Festival, we had the BC Amankora Awards which means a lifetime achievement. And this is an award given by the North American Basque Organization, NABO. And this year we recognized six members of the Bakersfield Basque community. We included a, a musical performance by the Basque singer-songwriter, Esti Marquez. She did a performance to they entertain everyone and kick off the Basque Festival. Just like the language and the games and the, the family unit that the Basque culture represents, a lot of people correlate it with the dancing. Um, and I teach um, Basque dancing. I was a Basque dancer. My children Basque dance as well. What's cool though about it is that we're able to, as we're teaching them the dances, some of them have names of what they mean or they use props uh, telling a story. It's impressive to watch, to be able to know that those dances were carried down and that they came from the Basque country with purpose, with a sense of, of pride in their culture, that they were dancing while they were working or they were um, telling a story through their dance moves or their, the dance um, in the song, in the lyrics, in the music, in the props used, in the costumes. It's all a sense of of, it's just a piece of our culture along with the food. And when the accordion starts to play or you hear a Basque song, it's very common for those that have witnessed it throughout their lives to just jump in and dance. It's kind of just another connection, another way that the Basque culture creates a community. <laughs> A really central part of the Bass Picnic is the tradition of having a, a Catholic Mass in the morning. And what's happened over the years is that the Bass community has used this as an opportunity to not only uh, celebrate their religious traditions and their religious belief, but also their success in America as an immigrant community. The procession is led by the Klika, which is a, a, a Basque marching band in a way. It's a tradition that is uh, especially prevalent in, in Iparralde, in the French Basque region. What the festival reminds us of is why we do this, what you know, why this matters to us. Because we, we go to that festival, we put a lot of work into it, but we see the kind of joy, the kind of fun and excitement that it brings to people. And what we want to do is, is maintain that. And to maintain it, we need to keep connecting. We need to keep these ties that bind us together. 
Um, and you know that takes a lot of hard work, but it's work that is worth it, right? Yeah.